All right. Moment of truth. Gonna pick my poison. Who did I randomly pick? It is Steve Fox. All right. So what is gonna be the theme? Steve Fox. All right. Something came out. Steve Fox. Steve Fox and draw music. What? I gotta draw music? How is that gonna work? Okay. Alrighty, so we're going to be talking about the process of drawing Steve with the combination of drawing music. Now, I've been away from YouTube um, just out of personal reasons and stuff like that. And also, let's just face it, the algorithm is not the best when it comes down to building up new content creators. Unless you are literally copying what everybody else is doing which then takes away your integrity. So I came up with this idea of Tekken, 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 Tekken. You know, I'm not even gonna edit that part. I'm just gonna be talking, all right? So I literally came up with this idea and I took out an eight and a half by 11 uh, printing paper and I wrote down so many different topics that are pop culture, Pretty much Batman, Superman, anime characters, comic book characters, celebrities, things of that nature, all inside of a container, which you guys saw in the beginning. And then I wrote down with another sheet of paper so many different themes um, to add on to the character to then you guys will see as a combination of making a new illustration. So each video is going to be having that, which is randomly selection from one hat, which is a metaphor. I know it's not a hat, it's a container. So pull in a random, you know, random name topic from a hat, from a container, from one end, and then the other end doing the same thing, which is the second one is from the bag. And then from there, I just draw. So I don't look at what I'm pulling out. So this is straight up ingenuity. So this is my way of changing it up because I know everything is going on with AI, which is artificial intelligence. So I'm like, you know what? Let me do the organic version, right? Instead of using computer prompts or whatever, I'm an artist. So I just pulled topics that I wrote on a sheet of paper and use art ingenuity. So instead of AI artificial intelligence, this is art ingenuity to come up with these illustrations. So here is the progress of Steve Fox. I would say I was looking at multiple references, not only Tekken 8 Steve, I almost said Steve Jobs, uh, Tekken 8 Steve Fox. I was also looking at Tekken 4. So I was looking at Tekken 8, Tekken 4, and Tekken 5 of Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. <laughs> I think Steve Fox would knock out Steve Jobs as if there was a fight and I was a better man, I will bet on Steve Fox. But in terms of money, um, who makes more money, I will bet on Steve Jobs. Yeah. Anyway, so when it came out to this process, I use a Wacom tablet, uh, old Wacom tablet, even to this day, um, this Wacom tablet is older than my niece and nephew, so I can't believe it's still working even at 2024 at, the, the, at this time of the recording. That's insane. Um, but yeah, I'm using a medium Wacom tablet. It's not a Cintiq. Um, there's no screen. I'm just looking at my computer screen while um, using the tablet. And well, how I normally do, I just lower down the opacity and I just draw it out, just draw it out. I look at the references. I have three panels, so that really helps, uh, three computer panels. So I can look at the reference, um, looking at it, uh, and, uh, and at the same time, um, looking directly at the main panel in the middle. So I'm using Adobe Photoshop with the sketch process. And this is how I uh, normally do it when it comes down to finishing illustrations. I do everything first on Photoshop and then later on transfer it, right? So with the sketch, 
it's just all about just you know trying to capture the likeness i did struggle a bit with his nose and his eyes at first i made the eyes too narrow too like too close together i had to erase it and again you just sculpting it out so you just start off with a very light sketch very very light gesture drawing and uh, make sure that you know you're just trying to capture the energy of it as you guys can see here there is four shortening so i want to emphasize on the boxing gloves because he's a boxer so i just you know made a circle just like a quick oval like uh, structure of the circle and then make his head a circle just quick really really quick so i could get a good idea of the composition and the placement so when it comes down to that, just never worry about any type of details because details only happen when you are solidified and you're more confident in what you're doing moving forward. Never just do details right away because that's going to pull your hair out. And if you barely have hair, it's going to pull the rest of the hair out. So you definitely want to be uh, very cautious with that and, um, you know, just go with the flow and then over going back and forth with the mistakes and fixing it then you can get into the stage of, okay, this is good enough for me to move forward, right? So gesture, once that's solidified, then I had to add the music notes. Now, I am not a music player. I'm an artist, but not a musician, all right? So I don't play music. I don't know anything about music notes. So I looked at the references that, I've, that I had, the main reference, and I just looked at it from observation. And the hardest part was the all the way to the left-hand side of that reference. It was just so, like difficult that I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna improvise, you know, like <laughs> I wasn't trying to make it look um, exactly the way it looks on the reference, mainly because I, I knew I was gonna fix it later on. Also, I didn't want to get lazy and just like drag it to Adobe Illustrator and then do like an image trace. I didn't want to do that because that's lazy. So I just drew it out myself, right? Then, it, you know, so that way I feel more engaged and making sure that the illustration is more solidified and more organic that way, as opposed to going more of the graphic design approach where I can just image trace it and rotate it. Sometimes it's not always good to work smart. Sometimes you gotta, you know, get your hands dirty and do it yourself. Anyway, so yeah, so then once um, the sketch was complete, this is when I transferred the files from Adobe Photoshop to Adobe Illustrator. So I just copied and pasted it. And I had to make a whole new file because I, I have a lot of like illustrations I've done in the past couple of years um, digitally that I had to make a new one because my Adobe Illustrator file was starting to act up. It had like almost a hundred megabytes. I know that's, that don't seem a lot on Adobe Photoshop, but with Adobe Illustrator having it over or close to a hundred megabytes, it, it will cause, well, for my computer, it caused my computer to, to slow down. So it, so literally when I would save, the whole screen would turn blank until the save is fully saved, then it will go back to regular screen. That is never a good sign. So always keep that in mind. If that's happening, you gotta start doing some spring cleaning, right? And start getting rid of like archive files. Now, of course, don't delete them. Just, just you know, make a new file name. And that's what I did here. So that way it could save a lot easier. So for move, so uh, moving forward, I'm just going to save. So each um, design is going to have its own Illustrator file. Before I used to clump them all into different layers in one file. So I'm not doing that anymore. So yeah, so on here, just utilizing um, the pen tool. <clears throat> so I'm utilizing the pen tool. And with that, it's pretty straightforward and it's very, very tedious. Um, some people don't like the pen tool. They move away from it like the bubonic plague. Why are you running? Why are you running? Look, it's multiple ways to skin a cat. Um, if you like or you prefer to make your illustrations complete on Photoshop, go right ahead. Uh, me personally, I like to I like the clean finished look and I like my aesthetic of making the designs look like it's animated. So that's the main reason why I go about it this way. And it just looks clean. I just like the fact that it looks really, really clean. So that's that's my style, right? So yeah, yeah. So majority of it, not just tracing over your sketch on Adobe Illustrator, but also at the same time, I'm adding like the aspects of extra lights and shadows just to create more volume when I get into the coloring process later on. So it's really important to add those extra lights and shadows. My style is harsh lightning, 
why because i like things that are really dramatic and i like reflective lighting uh, i was a fan of dragon ball z anime and also like comic books so whenever they have those harsh lighting that's ingrained in my brain to add that onto my style of work so um moving forward after that that's when i add like the coloring process so the coloring process didn't take too long because i was thankful for um making steve not have the box i mean not have his casual outfit so i was happy that i gave him his box in attire because the box and attire is way more easier to illustrate than his tekken 8 attire which has like so many like layers going on there and then he has like a choker on this i was like it's just way too much but props to them i mean that's another reason why i like making these illustrations too even though it's random um and it allows me to appreciate what i'm looking at and find a way to make my own interpretation from it so that's a, that's another reason why i do it and for those artists out there i strongly suggest you guys do that as well you know like make some topics pull it out and see what you can do use your ai not artificial intelligence use your artist ingenuity to come up with unique works of art out of your own organic prompt right so once the coloring process was you know going back and forth with the coloring i had to make sure i had the references uh correct i did i did not use the eyedropper all right did not use the eyedropper i just looked at the reference and i made sure i save and this is another thing that's really important is to save your color swatches it really saves a lot of time you don't want to start a new file and then like because because if you start a new file now it's going to go back to your default swatches uh, that's already on the Adobe Illustrator program as you have to then like make new swatches later on. Why do that? Why start all over if you dedicated so much time making new swatches? Why not just keep the swatches, right? Make a new file name and then just change the size appropriately. And that's what I did. So there was a lot of um, swatches that I kept that I ended up using to create the color palette for Steve Fox. Um, none of the two is always keep in mind of the Pathfinder. Pathfinder is very important, uh, especially when you add certain shapes together, then you want to trim out the negative space. Always use the Pathfinder. It saves you so much time. The Pathfinder will create a unique shape out of combining two together, which is the merge or divide, which will separate the negative space and it becomes a one unique shape, especially when it comes down to not just the Fox logo on his headphones, also the Fox on his trunks, but most importantly, the music notes. So understand how to use a Pathfinder. You will be so, trust me, you will thank me later. So yeah, so yeah, once the coloring is complete, this is where I transfer the file onto Premiere and then this is where I add like the blur effect and all that stuff, which you guys are not gonna see until the end of the video. Um, so that's just my style of, and I just taught myself how to do all of this as far as like the way it's structured, the way it looks, um, and figure out your own style, you know, <laughs> this is just a step-by-step -step of basics. And that's the thing about life. You know, we grab things, we grab elements from other people and you're supposed to make it transformative and make it your own. So I really enjoyed making this. This, this honestly didn't take me too long. It took me two days to finish this illustration and I, and I'll be real with you. I really can't wait to make the next one. And what's cool about it is that it's going to be the same thing, just like in the beginning of the video. It is random. I'm not looking at it until I pull it out. And then from there, that is my artist prompt for me to make a new illustration. So without further ado, here is the finished work of Steve Fox and music.